Hey guys, welcome back to Modest Lifestyle. It's a reaction video. Who made it to the top? Of course, you and I were here. We're back like we never left. Lazy people everywhere. A quick reminder if you love me, I love you back. I love you with the with. I love you back to back. Backpackers everywhere. Lazy people everywhere. Where's my backpacker? Of course, we are very much around in your hands. The Silicon Valley of Africa. That's where we are. Meanwhile, have you grabbed something? Grab whatever that is grabbable. I got my bottle of water here. Who do we have today? We have fellow demand. Fellow demand finally got his account on frozen his account was frozen by sir edward leety the guy in yankee that bought a property on fellow the boy's name and handed everything over to him to help him build this house okay we're going to look at that because there was another video that fellow the boy dropped talking nonsense talking trash making a fool of himself we're going to look into that. Mr. Kenge has activated again another GoFundMe scam. Uh, we, we tend to forget. I don't know who did this to us. We tend, as we human beings, we tend to forget easily. What happened to Afro-Indian money? Hmm? What happened to Mr. Erondante? You go to his IG. He's saying, finding my happiness. Who took away Mr. Erondante's happiness? If not Mr. Kenge. Start from Mr. Kenge. Again, Mara was on live stream <laughs> activating donation. Mara claimed that three times in a year, not once, three times in a year that one of his subscribers should be taken on vacation. What am I smelling here? Oga is looking for money that he will use and travel. Oga is activating for donation so that he can start traveling. That's what he's doing. Mr. Kenge is looking for his ticket money. I said it with my full chest. Mr. Kenge, come direct and ask your audience to donate for your traveling, for you and your madam, your madam that you are taking care of. You hear, madam, feminine energy. Uh, oh, I'm happy that I found someone who can take care of me, who can take care of you by begging. What is this? Hmm. Guys, we don't want to do too much. Let's hear what the audience... Meanwhile, he clashed with one of his moderators. He clashed in the comment section because of the same thing. Let's read this comment. This person said, Does GoFundMe even allow a startup for a dream vacation? Yanni, you want to surprise someone? This guy is the most stupid human being I've ever seen in this life. You want to take someone on a dream vacation? You are asking your audience to donate. Those people you are asking to donate, you think they don't want to go on dream vacation? Oh, we will do this three times in a year. Say, I will do it. I, Marowa, will do it. Marowa, we are waiting for you. Say, I, Marowa, will cough out this money that I'm making. I, Marowa, will cough out this money that I make to take one of my persons on vacation. To pay them back for always being there for me. For always watching. That's how to do it. How can you borrow money? How can you ask for GoFundMe? Ask people to donate in order to take someone to another place for vacation. Just like what he did with these Afro-Indian guys. Guys, we are waiting. We will see that. Look at him. He wants to play with our mind. He said, oh, I'm not going to be the one collecting. You cannot trace it. Because if you want to do GoFundMe, you must be in the US. They need some other stuff to set it up. But we are waiting for that person. Someone also said, Oh, tell Mr. Arondante. I was reading comments, guys. Let me finish this one. I want to finish this comment. Go for me, even allow a startup for a dream vacation. This person is asking a question. I thought they had certain criteria that includes a compelling story like medical emergencies, ETC, somebody who is dying. Somebody due to disaster lost his home. Somebody who has life-threatening issues. I could be wrong, but I think the person who starts up the GoFundMe needs a legitimate pressing reason. Or they could get in trouble for creating one. Or it could be shut down. Period. 
That's what is going to happen. We will not let that happen. Guys, we are not we are outside Yankee, but we will not let that happen. Because we know that we have people that will be on his neck. Come straight. If you need to borrow money for your ticket, come straight. Some of your donators, come straight, Baba Marwa, if you need to borrow money for your traveling, for you and your woman to be able to travel. You want to go to Southern Africa. He has already said it. Oh, guys, we'll be doing this. Call, hey, the winner should reach out to your PA. Why is the winner reaching out to your PA? Since your PA is not the one arranging it and you are not the one arranging. You are not the one raising this. It doesn't matter who raises it. So long as you are using your platform to do that, it's not allowed. Even the way he's doing it is even against YouTube guidelines. It's against YouTube policy. The way he's even going about it. Let's watch him. This guy, you think... <laughs> hey. I'm laughing because he, he doesn't know. He doesn't know what... You know when you don't know what is awaiting you. You don't know what people have in plan. You don't know what you are facing. You know? You are aiming. You're going to sit. Oh, next life. We are going to contribute. Contribute. But that will not work. We are here. Good for one person and we send them to their dream destination. What do you guys think? That is what we are doing today. Dream destination is here. And I think... We should do it in April, August, and December. Guys, we are big enough to support one person to go to their dream destination. Next time we support one. And you never know, it could be you. Who knows? It could be you guys. This is it, bro. This is it. Someone is going to dream destination. This is it, guys. And Maro goes live now here. I will, I'll use my phone. I will... uh, thank you so much, Lydia. Please reach out to my PA, okay, Lydia? reach out to my PA so we can start organizing. So, the next live I'll do, which will be next week, Sunday, it will be purely uh, supporting a GoFundMe for Lydia. And you see how rude he is. Your audience, you don't even listen to them. Forget about the reactors. We are negative already. We are, they have already put us aside that we are negative. Whatever we do, we are negative. We are fighting this family. We are against this family from the beginning. Okay. What about your audience? Why are you fighting in the comment section? Why is Mr. Kenge deleting some of the comments? Why is he blocking people? Why did he fight even his moderators? People that are there, people that understand how these things work. This guy is not even ready to listen to them. Dream destination by contribution. Does this guy even understand what it means? Go fund me. Go fund me. And again, it must be you who wants to raise this money. Because that's the way I see it. It's not something that you say, go fund me. And then you're going to use the money to send somebody on vacation. His dream vacation or her dream vacation. It's called dream. You dream, you actualize it, you make it happen for yourself. And if it's something you want to do because you have a big platform, you feel you want to give back to your audience, cough out this money from your pocket, Mr. Kenge. You are so shameless. You are senseless. You don't think at all. You are not logical. This person that you are sending, if someone comes up to Mr. Kenge and be like, you know what, I need... A, B, C, D. I need so, 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 so amount of money for my medical treatment abroad. This surgery that is required, I can only do it abroad and it will cost me 20,000 US dollars. That is logical. People will feel, people will donate because it has to do with health. It has to do with life. It's life threatening situation. Accident, fire outbreak, you've lost your home. You are homeless. From having a nice home, all of a sudden you are thrown outside due to disaster. It's understandable. You need a shelter. But dream vacation, let's see how it goes. Guys, I will move to Fellow the Boy. Fellow the Boy, you guys, if you don't know, just know that Fellow the Boy is a guy in Yabahanze that is into charity. Okay? He was doing charity and he was close, he was close to Marwa doing charity and he started 
doing it on his own. And Marawa decided to let his audience understand that this guy, the first person that labeled this guy is Kama. I'm not lying, guys. Is Baba Marwa. Baba Marwa called him a scammer and told his audience to go unsubscribe from Fellow the Boy's channel. And Fellow the Boy, of course, we reactors, we started looking, looking, looking. We said, okay, if this is what he wants to do, why not? So long as he's transparent, so long as he's clear with his charity. And I remember reacting on his content then. That was like last year. That was last year. I remember reacting and calling him out because he wouldn't give clear accounts. I don't want to go and dig into the, those videos. I don't want to start digging into the videos. But I remember him not mentioning the figures. Like, he wasn't clear at all in giving account. If somebody has given money, he would just say, Oh, we received this from this person to help Mama Felicita. Not mentioning the figures. I was like, no, this is not how to do it, fellow the boy call out the amount that you receive and then talk about how you spent it that's a way to go don't just say oh this person gave oh this person gave and then you did a few things you have to state the amount you receive how you spent it everything must be down even if the donor wants to be anonymous the person doesn't want to to mention his or her name but the person is watching you if you have received 100 us the fellow the boy Put it out there that you received 100 and you have given this is amount i received in foreign currency because again what i noticed with fellow the boy is he's collecting money in dollars but he will say oh in kenya shillings i was like nine how much did you receive in dollars how much is it and sometimes when he converts the money it doesn't tally with what the current conversion is like his own money will be less he did all that, we corrected, we corrected, and we were cool with him. He kept on doing his stuff. And there was a time he mentioned by himself that there's a guy who took him as his son, who told him to buy a property on his name and took him as his son. So can you see now in his mind, he's seeing Mr. Edward as his father. He feels like, okay, this guy adopted me, calls me his son. And I remember again coming back to say, fellow the boy, what are you talking about? You so say you are saying that this person sees you as his son and gave you money to build. You have to make this thing clear. Number one, this person might come up tomorrow and start cleaning stuff. So what you are saying doesn't make sense. I remember saying it. I said, make it clear. Let there be concrete agreement. Let be transparent, be transparent with this person. Because a father and a son can do business together. Don't have this in your mind that, oh, he calls me his son. He took me as his son. Oh, I, I'm an orphan. I don't have parents. Now this person sees me as, and then you will be lavishing his money. You will not give him clear account. You will try to manipulate and maneuver him. Try to add up things. I reacted. Little did I know that fellow the boy will fall off with this guy. If you must build a house for someone, make sure you do it right. Make sure you do a good job. Don't do something and then expect people to start clapping at you. Or when people complain that your job is not good, you feel that they are jealous. You feel, oh, they can't do it, let them go. No, it's not about whether we can do it or not. And uh, very soon, uh, I alerted the world in my YouTube channel that uh, I will be starting another big project than this. Ooh. Big project. <laughs> From the good project that I've did at Kangariso and at Mama Felicia's, mm. uh, I've managed to get uh, uh, somebody. Mm. Somebody has, uh, has, has uh, hired me yeah. from abroad mm -hmm. to construct, to buy for him a land, yeah. to construct for him a, a, a house. house. Wow. And you can't, you can't imagine mm. somebody saying that, uh, mm. I want you to... Uh, then I, you know, I was I was calling him. He said that call him, call me dad. Mm. I was calling him dad. Mm. Now that you know you are a foreigner, yeah. and a foreigner cannot be able to 
uh, to own a, a land yeah. uh, in uh, in this country mm. but uh, he said that there is no problem my son mm. uh, just uh, buy that land and uh, just register it to your name yeah. so something that uh, you can see so the way god god, god, god is working works in these are these are the way. miracles that yeah. you can say that uh, god is really working in the in the community yeah. and also this indication that uh, uh, something big is uh, loading maybe yeah. something maybe big one day much, yeah bigger and bigger and bigger son of the boy hmm. This man asking you to call him father because, of course, he wants to be a father figure in your life is a good thing. Now, my question is Is there any agreement, fellow the boy, between you and this person to save yourself from trouble? <laughs> because you now coming out to say it is actually an evidence that can be used against you. There should be an agreement since you are doing this and you are the local person and it's under your name. So for this person who is not even a Kenyan, number one, to tell fellow the boy to buy a land, and fellow the boy explained to him that he can't buy a land as a foreigner, and he asked fellow the boy to buy the land on his name, and fellow the boy will start building. Is there any legal documents? I always do the right thing, and make sure there's a legal backup towards it. Just make sure there's a document even between you and your father, because father and son do business together. Mm -hmm. So that this person, let's say this person is seeing you now as his son, doesn't mean that you cannot do business with him. From the start, you will not notice any higgy haga, but mm, towards the end or in the middle, you will be hearing stories that will touch the heart. So that's why it's always good to be careful and check these things. Follow the boy was called by the village chief. Fellow the boy and these guys, this stupid, what I call, there was another one in the background eating sugar cane and distracting what fellow the boy was, and distracting us from hearing what fellow the boy, even though fellow the boy was not making sense. Fellow the boy claimed that this guy distributed his information, his data, okay, to reactors. I know, I've not received anything about fellow the boy. Till today, I don't even know his complete name. I don't have anything about him. So, where did Sir Edward distribute this? Fellow the boy now, the one that is even pissing the hell out of me. This guy is a crook. Hear him. Oh, he distributed my information to the reactors everywhere and everywhere. I'm dealing with three people. I'm dealing with Sir Edward. I'm dealing with Litty. I'm dealing with, he called another name. Which, the name that the guy, you know, whenever he sends money. This is actually that third name. Is actually his real name if you look at it so have you seen that fellow the boy is very very wicked and mean he feels now that he can attack this guy that because he's in Kenya and he's a Kenyan with those guys that are there you know deceiving him he feels that those guys are fighting for him they are actually making his situation worse because now we can see his true color this other reactor that interviewed mr. Ibrahim Congress mom's brother, okay? Information we are getting is that it was actually fellow the boy that interviewed Mr. Ibrahim and then passed it on to this, his reactor friend. This, his reactor friend in the past, about one month ago, two months ago, did a collaboration with his NS. NS was then begging him to become a reactor. Hear him, no, I don't want to do reaction because these guys that do reaction and they are not in Yabohanze, I don't trust them. Any reaction that is done by watching the person on television is not real. You have to be there, see things yourself before you start reacting. He was blabbing nonsense and then he was not doing reaction and Ernest was pushing him. Again, he said to Ernest, I don't want to do reaction because my friends that are doing charity, if I do reaction and say something bad against them, they will not like me. So have you seen that it's no longer reaction? What we are seeing, especially with this guy, this guy has brought sentiment to it. Even him, when he was talking about fellow the boy being called by the chief, he was defending fellow the boy. I have my person here, Mashibo One. Mashibo One is someone that I support with my full chest. But if there's anything that I need to disagree with him, I will freaking... When you brought the news of Christmas list and was like, oh, Christmas list is busy with Uncle Mo, Christmas list called a young teenage boy to the swamp, invited this boy, da da da. 
I told him, I said, Machibo one, I believe you to some extent because we've also heard things about Christmas list. But we need proof, we need evidence. This is how reaction should be. I don't know why these guys bring too much emotion to this. Here, Uncle Ibrahim coming to fellow the boy, and fellow the boy is spreading this to us. This is someone that is crying now that Sir Edward is trying to destroy him. Sir Edward is trying to uh, Sir Edward is trying to close his YouTube account. Where is the proof? Show us the paper trail that showed that Sir Edward actually wanted your channel to go down. Yes, he has the right to tell whoever he talks to that he wouldn't want this to happen to another person. He wouldn't want another person to be a victim because he knows what he went through. He knows what he suffered with fellow the boy. Fellow the boy, you are wicked. You are mean. Now I know why Marwa called you a scammer. You are a real scammer. That's what I want to tell you now. You are evil. You are wicked. You are bringing his name. I will give you an example, guys. My name is Modesta, right? But my, my full name is not Modesta Lifestyle. If I'm going to do something, transaction with you, definitely this, this lifestyle will not be there. It's my social media name you understand so many people are like that you look at all this our audience are you telling me that these names that they use is their correct name you see why fellow the boy is wicked and evil when this guy was pushing money to you and you were bragging to people i have this guy i don't have never even seen him and he calls me his son and he gave me money to buy this land this other reactor that uh, interviewed Ibrahim. I heard that it was fellow the boy. See, see how they work. You see the circle. If you watch this reactor, you see that he doesn't make sense. Supporting fellow the boy by saying that uh, Mr. Eb uh, Mr. Edward at least show appreciation. Fellow the boy was building his house, building your own. Appreciate at least. Appreciate at least. What is that? If fellow the boy is your friend and he has done something and he is caught, blame him. That is true friendship. You may not blame him even on camera. If you don't want to kick him under the box on camera in front of all of us, you can do it off camera and leave it. Don't come here and make yourself look stupid because what you are doing, as long as I'm concerned, is not reaction. You already said it that if we are not there, in the Yabuhanze, we reactors, we don't know what we are talking. See how myopic this guy is. I'm gonna let you guys see all these things. Fine, let's watch him mm. before we watch fellow the boy. Let's watch the collaboration he did with his NS. Then he was not reacting. NS was kind of you know pulling him to reaction towards reaction. Because if it's not reaction, all these guys in the Yabuhanze, they want to do what well, charity, just like fellow the boy. Fellow the boy is claiming now that nobody has ever questioned him. No, nobody has ever doubted his work. Nobody has ever called him out that he ate the person's money. Nobody has ever complained against him and his work. Fellow the boy, you are a liar. Coco Mama have complained. I've questioned you over and not once, not twice. Fellow the boy, a, a donor has reached out to me that he gave you money to give to Geta and Geta. You didn't give him that money. Fellow the boy, CEO has called you out. You did not answer her. She even sent you a private message. She sent you a message on IG. You ignored her. I'm sure CEO has reacted. Fellow the boy, people have been questioning you. You are a scammer. You are a thief. You are asking Sir Edward to show you which one is which one. That you are dealing with three people. Your real name is Fellow the boy. I'm asking you. So it means that Edward is dealing with two people. Because your real name is not Fellow the Boy. People have their social media name. Black Beauty TV. Her real name is not Black Beauty TV. Modesta Lifestyle, okay. I even put my real name on top. Some people, they code it in such a way that you go anywhere on social media, you will never get their real name. When they deal with you one-on-one, -on -one, they know at least, okay, I'm dealing with this person one-on-one. -on -one. That's when you will get to know, okay, oh, this is actually his real name or her real name what is this yeah what is going on in the Yabuhanse? at the same time you're having this problem at the same time you, you took uncle ibrahim to interview him after you finish interviewing him you know that he looks somehow okay 
Even the contact number that they put, we don't know actually who owns this contact number. Whether it's contact number of Mr. Ibrahim. Because looking at Mr. Ibrahim, you can tell that he is lost. He is confused. He doesn't, he's myopic. He doesn't even know. He's being pushed around. The contact number they shared there might not even be his. And even if it's his, someone in the background can still be using it. Just like the boy. Why interviewing Mr. Ibrahim and then pushing the content to your reactor friend? Reactor friend that feels that we are his problem. If we are not in the Yabohanze, if we are not Kenyan, we cannot react. Does this guy even know what reaction is all about? Eh? Reaction means that there's something, there's an object. There's something you have seen and you are reacting to it. You must not be physically there. You must not be even be an eyewitness. In fact, you can even react to something that the person you are reacting to is not aware of it. Like, the person, before the person dropped the video, the person was not aware that, oh, this thing is like this, this thing. Then a reactor picking that content, talking about it, the person will be like, oh, I didn't even know I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. That is reaction. But look at, let's listen to him. The time going, you know. Mm. You don't jack things and you don't know that. Do you want to go down the sump there? I, I, I'll go there, but I'll never record the video. I, I need to confirm. These things are real, you know. You need to confirm things. So, which means I'm lying? I, I'm not saying that you are lying. <laughs> you are okay because you have been here. Mm. You know the people who I'm not trusting about the reaction? Mm. is the people who watch from the video. Mm. Because they don't know the reality. You know, you, you, you know the reality. Even if, if, if we can... Uh, there is a time maybe you have seen that guy mm. eating the maize there at the town. Yeah. Behind the camera. Yeah. Because this is a village and you know them. Mm. We are the homies. We are the homies. Mm. So what you are talking... We are the G's. That's the raw fact. We call them the raw fact. fact yeah. yeah. Not the facts that you share with your mom and me is the raw facts. Mm. So you talk about from the, the source. Yeah, from the source. Mm. That's the reason why I'm telling you that mm. I cannot judge things that uh, I'm not sure about. But you will remain in dilemma even as a reactor. Now, you must not judge as a reactor. As a reactor, you are not even a judge, and you must not witness. Witnessing is on another level. Witnessing is like. Confirming something. Okay, this thing that I've seen, this person posted this. I've reacted to it. This thing that I've seen, somebody on the ground has further, you know, confirmed that this thing that we're seeing is actually true. That's on another level. But to come and say that, oh, you don't trust those people that watch video and react. So, it means that you only react on Iyabohanze because you are there. As someone who is in the village in Yabuhanze, if there's a content in Nairobi, if there's a content that someone did in Nairobi, if there's a video from another country, let's say in Nigeria somewhere, you must not talk about it because you are not there. Can you see how senseless this guy is? And if Ernest was there, trying everything possible to convince him to do reaction. Finally, he started doing reaction, but in a wrong way. He brought sentiment to reaction. Because when I saw his reaction on Fellow the Boy, I was like, eh, eh, eh. Fellow the Boy is your friend, but call a spade a spade. Is his account questionable or not? His spending, is it questionable or not? How much he collected and how much he spent, is it questionable or not? Why? How can someone who is in the U.S., free someone's account in Kenya. There must be concrete reason behind it. Oh, he wants to pull me down. Oh, he wants to close my YouTube account. Why? Why? I'm dealing with three people. I want him to come out. You are stupid. Let's watch him. Fellow the boy is a very mad man. You are a mad, useless guy. You are very stupid. If you're going to talk to someone who trusted you and did stuff with you like this, I don't know why they reactivated his account. His account is supposed to, in fact, he's supposed to hide his face on this face. Somebody like this, you trust him at your own risk. You cannot claim to the people that you have been scammed. People don't, even they don't know how we started getting money from you, even how we started this project. First, I would like to say that uh, I was denied my right. You cannot claim to people that you are scammed when people, they don't know how you started. 
we don't need to know. So many stuff we do. We do it what? On our own. You might even be doing stuff and you don't even let your partner know about it until maybe something happens. Okay? We don't need to know how it started. But we know that there's a problem now. And we know that there's clear proof and evidence that you chow his money. Fellow the boy, accept it. You chow his money and you want to use every means now to save your face. Your face is gone. No wonder he ran back to Baba Marwa. Someone who has rubbished you told his audience to go to your channel and remove their subs. Called you a scammer because he saw how you are. He saw, he picked, he, he, even him, he, he has his own cruel ways. Even the Kenge, Kenge knows that because he, <laughs> he tastes a scammer, today a scammer, you get what I mean. The Kenge knows and that's why he quickly disassociated himself from fellow the boy. He made it very clear, quick, 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 quick. Because then, fellow the boy was collecting stuff from the audience, from Mama Ann. He was even the one doing the connection, the plumbing thing, buying the tank, setting the tank up, doing some stuff there. Mr. Kenge was mad at him. Ali Babas everywhere. Now you want to come and rubbish. Actually, he's the one now giving us this guy's name. Like, like Yanni, he's the one exposing this guy. Yeah, Rabia. This guy is anonymous. This guy is faceless. Okay? This Mr. Edward is faceless. But he is someone that we know that he supports us here. But he's faceless. He remains faceless like that. We've never heard his side of the story. We've never seen him, you know, sharing this or this. I've not received. So what is fellow the boy talking? Because uh, uh, my documents were uh, uh, distributed to so many people. And uh, I was not uh, happy anymore because uh, this, if this thing was supposed to be uh, followed in a legal way, I don't think if uh, these documents could be distributed to the other YouTubers or the reactor. That's number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, uh, also what I was not happy with it uh, is that uh, I worked for you for so many months, but the last month is when you come up and you said that uh, you want me to transfer the project. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you came and trusted this guy whom I, I transferred the project to, to an extent that uh, you refused even, and you said that I hand over even the keys. Uh, you have also stated in the information from the chief that uh, uh, you want uh, you want the government to deal uh, with me so that uh, I cannot scam somebody else. Let me tell you, Liti, I don't know Mr. Liti. I started working uh, to the people in the society before even knowing you. And since I started working from March, it was March last year, no one has complained that I've scammed him or her money. So this thing that you are trying that uh, I am scamming people, I can say that uh, I'm sorry for you. But you can also bring evidence to the government of Kenya that uh, I am scamming the people. Another thing that is that uh, um, we have got some people, but they don't know your face. They don't know who you are. But me, I myself, I know your face because you used to send me some photos. That's number one. Number two, uh, you call yourself Sir Edward. You call yourself Liti. But the, the process you used to send me money, I never see on the information, the transaction information, something like Liti or something like Sir Edward. The name that was appearing on the money that was I was receiving was a different name. It was a Abuyomi Togo. So to me, I can say that somebody even who is complaining about this case and somebody who was sending me money is two people different. So I don't know who's the complainer of this uh, matter. So I need you to come clear in Kenya and you come in court and tell the court that uh, you are Liti and you are also Abuyomi. Because according to me, even the agreement of the land, you said that we write Liti. The money when you send me, it brings somebody else's name. So how many ideas do you have in USA? That's a question that I'm asking you. And this is the question that we are supposed to question you. Say Because even me, my name has been exposed. So I need to say this, that I've been receiving also some threatening from this guy. Messages he used to threaten me. He has seen that the, threat, the threatening has not worked. Guys, do you hear him saying that the agreement is 
Leeds. The, the, the land agreement is Leeds, okay? But when this guy sends money, he sends money with, of course, his real name. Now, I want to tell fellow the boy something that he doesn't know. People, they buy property with any name they want. You must not buy property with your real name. Some, they do it to disguise from the families, you understand? I've seen cases where someone passes on. Nobody in the family even knows that this person got property somewhere. It's only like a good Samaritan would be like, oh, I know him. An outsider whom this person trusted might know, but no family member will know that this person owns any property anywhere. So, fellow the boy, okay, he shared his pictures with you. And so what? You said it that you have never seen this person. You accepted the deal. When he asked you, oh, can you buy a property on my behalf and build this property? We can do this together. We can do this. Can you see, guys, that there was even an agreement? This guy got no sense that he needs to come down to court to prove this. You think in your mind that you have case with this guy. You must cough out all the money that you have stolen from him. Shameless boy. This thing was supposed to be uh, followed in a legal way. I don't think if uh, these documents could be distributed to the other YouTubers or the reactor. That's number one. Number two, uh, also what I was not happy with it uh, is that uh, I worked for you for so many months, but the last month is when you come up and you say that uh, you want me to transfer the project. I don't know how you came and trusted this guy whom I, I transferred the project to. Why do you have problem with him deciding to hand over his project? which he trusted you the way he trusted you and wanted you to handle this project that is the same way he changed his mind he doesn't trust you anymore you have showed him the other side of you and he decided to move this to another guy why do you have problem with that he has exposed your name he has exposed your identity can you show us can you show us the threats you can't just stand in front of the camera and be yapping and blabbing nonsense where's the proof Okay, hide his number and show how he threatened you. You are fighting with someone who nobody has seen here. You see, you have a problem. And those guys in the background, I don't understand. They, of course, they are the ones gingering him. In his mind now, he has, you know, strong support system. The other one was busy eating sugar cake. You, you're telling me that these guys are serious? That this is not a joke? Follow the boy! I'm disappointed, disappointed, disappointed to my bones. Follow the boy. You are evil. Follow the boy. You are wicked. You expect him, someone who trusted you. You bought the land on his behalf. He didn't. Then you didn't advise him to come, at least to see things by himself. Then you didn't advise him to come down to see things by himself. You bought the land on his behalf. You started developing the land. On his behalf after he questioned you and the account and how much you spent and how you kept milking him and milking him this guy <laughs> i'm i feel so sorry for mr t because if you were watching our reaction from the beginning you know when people would push hundred dollar push two hundred dollar oh buy this send this child to school do pit latrine for this person you know all those little little things that the donors were giving the donors if Sir Edwards was paying attention because Sir Edwards basically is always here with us. Then I don't know about now, I don't even know. I just pray that wherever he is, that he's okay because this thing can kill someone. It's a heartbreak seeing him even talking the way he's talking, guys. <laughs> I thought I have seen it all. I was watching for Google's video and I saw Welcoming International UK. This it up. Hey, hey, I clicked. Guess what? Similar thing that happened to our Jamaican grandma. This woman was taken to a shop. She didn't just shop for herself. She was shopping for the whole family member. Here on Kumo, this one for Congress mom. A big basket, separate basket. They did shopping for Congress mom. What is going on here? Opportunist, opportunity, opportunity. What is going on in this village? Why? Why? What? 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 Uh, hey. <laughs> Guys, 
I don't know if I still have energy to continue with this anymore. Honestly speaking, guys, I'm telling you, you guys, any day you, you click here and you didn't see me, just know that I'm tired. Any day you come to this channel, you didn't see Modesta. Don't worry, just know that I am tired. I need a break. It's too much. I can't take it anymore. Let's watch Uncle Mo. This was last month. Okay? I'm looking at this lady, I'm like, I hope she's fine. She also came from the UK. And the feeling I'm having now is she's the one that bought, because they said there's another lady from the UK that bought a land close to Jamaica grandma's land. I'm sure it's this lady. Yeah, come, 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 come to your house. And here, Kubo, after they finish milking her, first, before you come, you must go and do a whole shopping. This is what Davo Jr. and his mom, Congress mom, shameless woman. This is what they did to Burundi Traveler. BT paid for their lot, both for him and his mom. Meanwhile, you're collecting from someone who you are better than. It's very clear. At least on this place, you earn better than him. Did I hear that BT has a dual citizenship? Since when? If BT is a Kenyan, eh? Huh? He will be ringing it. He will be, if, in fact, it will be a Sam on his channel. He will be talking about it. I doubt it. I saw a comment like that. I doubt it. If he's a citizen, if he's a Kenyan citizen, then he did some corner corner right there. Possible. Information again we are hearing is that it's kind of, kind of over between him and DK. But I don't know. You will still, that guy is a very cunning guy. When he went to that uncompleted building of his, he said, oh, this blanket, oh, shout out to you, DK. DK made this possible. This blanket was given to me by DK. Da, 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 da. To confuse his audience. <laughs> when we were saying it, that this guy was never interested. This Diana came is another D. And D is also Diana. This Diana people, they better check it out. Don't make me overthink that if you are Diana, you are throwing yourself to a guy even if the guy doesn't care or want to you throw yourself because Diana Kemi did that Diana, Diana Kemi messed messed up I'm having a feeling that Diana Kemi has a son even though it doesn't matter even if she's a single mom does it really matter you're a single mom mm -hmm. life happens you move on package yourself together don't go where you're not celebrated Period. Let's watch Uncle Mo with this UK. I said not again. Can someone tell me if you know about this UK mom? Is she alright? Is she okay? Let's watch them. To Ibura. Ibura is here, guys. He doesn't uh, really want to choose got... anything. He doesn't <laughs> cry for nothing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, congrats, mom. We want to put this one. Yeah. Bring it for congrat to mom with this one. You know this one? Isn't it a congrat? Isn't it a congrat? Isn't it a set? That's a to no wake up a mocha. Nay up. Let's wake a yapa. This for congrat, mom. What are the best of you? You're shopping this in Miami. Hello, everyone. We are here in the border of Kenya and Tanzania. We are doing shopping as you can see. Let's end it with Coco Girl. I told you that when. I noticed that Coco Girl privated the first video she did in Miami, okay? She did this video, oh, homeless girl, just like the drama that she threw in Jamaica. She thought that when she comes to Yankee, she would do the same thing. And the worst part of it, she even went to the wrong location. Because you're looking at this place, this uh, part of um, Miami. When you're looking at this place, she is this part of Miami that Coco Girl is. You can tell very clearly that it's more like an extension you know another extension we're talking about guys <laughs> when i told you guys that anywhere i see black people is an extension of africa <laughs> whether you want to believe or not because this part of miami looks exactly like jamaica and most people there are from haiti okay haiti dominated it's called little haiti something like that Coco girl went to this neighborhood. Guys, there was a guy that 
put it clear to Coco Girl. You look lost. You are lost. You are confused. That's why I'm telling you to be careful. Coco Girl was defensive. Oh, I'm not. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm not lost. I know what I'm doing. In the mobile house somewhere. A guy from Jamaica, okay, moved to Yankee at tender age. So Coco Girl met this guy. Coco Girl was into this guy. I mind you that this guy is in his home. To Coco Girl, she feels like she gets protection, you know, with her GoPro camera because she's recording that nobody would. People can do and undo even with your camera and even collect that camera from you and destroy it. Nobody will know your whereabouts. Coco Girl is playing with her life. She's joking with her life on a more serious note. And anywhere she is, Miami is a tourist place. We've seen what Miami looks like, even though we have never been there. Coco Girl will not go and show us those places. She wants to go to the local places. She wants to bring, you know, bad image. Anywhere she is, what she's looking for is bad image. Tell me, is this place safe? Would they do anything to me? There was this dude that was telling Coco Girl, listen, you don't go to Haiti, whether you are black or white, even as a black person, so long as you are coming from Yankee, they will assume that you have a lot of money. Coco Girl was arguing with this guy. No, 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 no. If you go there, they will not do anything to you. If I go there because of my color, she feels she's up there because of her skin color. Now, dude was like, it doesn't matter. If you are coming from Yankee, you are seen as what? Gold. They will kidnap you and ask you for money. And the amount they need from you. <laughs> and she's touching guys. She's going very close to these guys. There was another guy that was almost like trying to chow her. Because of what? Because of the way she's behaving. There's a way you behave, especially in this Western world, okay? They respect you if you respect yourself as a woman. You make yourself available, of course, they will grab you. You come very close, so touchy, the guy automatically assumes that you want him. So what will he do? He start touching you, he start doing stuff. He can even... I don't want to say the other one. This is what Coco Girl is doing. I don't know who did this to this girl. This has become her niche. Anywhere she is, she must go to the dangerous place. Go to the worst. You must want to paint that place red and white. Uh -huh. They told you that Haiti is not safe. Now you are in Miami to go to Haiti, little Haiti. Okay, since Haiti is not safe, I want to know what, how, how. There's no place that is safe. You make it safe for yourself. And this thing about Coco Girl always asking the locals, how safe is this place? How are these people? Are they going to buy me? Are they going to collect this from me? She's showing where she put her gadget. Of course, because we know she has military background. She served in the military. We know she has military background. And so what? She's displaying these things. Certain things, yeah? We content creators, we should be learning this, including myself. I was recently reprimanded, like seriously, by one of our people here. Because sometimes we don't know when we overshare. As I am now, I don't even feel comfortable anymore. After my children were thrown out here for no reason by Biggie Biggie, I don't feel safe even to carry my camera and vlog around me. It's something that I would love to do, but this world that we are, People are wicked. Look at fellow the boy. Fellow the boy knew quite. Fellow the boy, you give fellow the boy hundred dollar, he must collect something from it. He must chow part of it, if not all. If there's a way, he will eat. All this charity, 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 charity. They are doing it for their own pockets. We know we are not babies. That's why you will hear, oh, someone gives some money. Now we are going to buy this. What? What do you mean by some money? What is that? Or someone in Yankee gave you 200 USD. You're going to tell us in shillings. How much did you collect in USD? When you did the conversion, what was the rate? How much did you get? How did you spend it? State everything clear. Yes, the person is anonymous, but all of us here are not anonymous. 
I'm not an animal. I want to hear. No. Selfish, 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 selfish. Oh, everybody wants to grab for his own selfish reasons. You see the truth. You can't even talk about it. If Mashubo one has dropped something here and I don't agree with him, I'm going to tell him here, I don't agree with you. If I feel like, okay, this one, I don't want to say anything about it. I'd rather keep quiet because it's not a must. It's not a must that we must address everything here. Certain things you just let go, okay? It's reaction. You don't feel like, okay, talking about it. Or you don't feel like there's a lesson people watching you will learn from this. You just look and pass. But to come here and be overprotective because I want you to be close to me. I want to remain your friend. Ah, uh, I don't want anything to come between us. So this thing that you have done, I'm going to come and say, be appreciative, Mr. Edward. Say thank you. Say thank you. Say thank you when somebody has made you broke. Which kind thank you? Say thank you when you can see that somebody wanted to have even buy you. Hey, we should be fearing God. Let's watch Coco Girl. Our time is up. Let's watch Coco Girl, guys. I'm a YouTuber. I want to see because I want to fly to Haiti. They tell me this is not good time now. Hell no. So I, ca I come now. I'm Haitian. I'm not going to Haiti. Right yes. No. This is my dream. You don't understand. I really want to be there. Not me. <laughs> you, you go there now. Make, make I'm sure telling you, this is my dream. I'm telling you right now, if your family won't have six hundred thousand dollars to get you back from Haiti, six thousand dollars. No, six hundred thousand. Six hundred thousand, like for kidnapping, huh? Yeah, don't no no. They will they will not kidnap you. you, you they will kidnap me because my pin <laughs> my pin color. <laughs> no, also you. Yeah, once you come from America, they already know you think you have money. You have money. Yeah. Your wallet. Yeah. So uh, I want really okay. Let me just try the local traditional food. I want. So go on 54th and make a right. And then I cannot enter through the hood? What, through inside? That's on you. If this you want to see. That's on you, bro. If you want to be rape like that, rape? good luck. No, not rape. I said, that's on you. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Because other people, okay, until now, other people that I met there, they tell me, yeah, 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 no problem. Enter, enter. No, this, they're not going to bother you. Because you're, they, they, so, the thing is, about the, the, no, no, okay, the thing about the hood, yeah. The hood don't really mess with, like, they're not gonna bother people that yeah. with different, with different yeah. color. That's so, the only, that's the only thing I could say. So, For, no matter what neighborhood you go to. Yeah. When, whenever you see, like, a white girl, white guy walk through the hood, they Same. don't, they say, they usually say, they don't bother. So why you tell me no, not go there? What is the reason you tell me no? Huh? What is the reason you tell me, hey, no? Because you look kind of lost, that's why. When I they look, look like lost. Yeah, lost. yeah. Exactly. When you look lost, they... That's anywhere. When you look lost, yeah, you're your target. You become to be like target. Hey, yeah. brother, I'm never lost. I'm very sharp. No, no, no. <laughs> you guys should leave there. This Yankee guy is so funny. It's not you. Like I said, if you come to my city, even if I know it's dangerous, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna kick my city under the box. Not possible. Mm -hmm. You come to my city, asking me black and white. If my city is safe, I will tell you yes. You make it safe for yourself. Be careful. That's why this dude was like, it's on you. Go. And as a white person, nobody will harm you. If you are a white person, have you seen it that sometimes we black people were our own problem? The black people will fight black people, but not white people. But it's the other way around. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or Igbo person will try to tie a black person. Or take advantage of black person, but we know we we tend to fight each other. But that's what this dude was also telling. And Coco girl was like, "But why are you telling me not to go there? Because you kind of look lost. You look confused. You look like <laughs> you look like somebody who someone would take advantage of." That's what this guy was basically telling Coco girl. Straight up, <laughs> no hard feelings. Yeah, thank God. I thank God. This Mexican guy, let's see. Mm. Huh? Hey, my brother. What do you have here? Wow! What you need? I just. I'm a YouTuber. If not, I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm off. If you don't like, I'm off. 
I'm a But guess what? You can call me, baby. I'm a man. All right, don't be scared. Trust me. Yeah, look at me. You remember the name? Yeah, it's good. I don't know the name. I just know where it's at. So you can direct me. I'm going to yeah. continue straight. So, three, and so you're going to go straight to 54 and make a right? Uh, wait, wait. My English is 24. Okay, 54 and make a right. Uh, 54, okay. And then you're going to go like three blocks, three blocks. And then you're going to be on your left-hand side. Okay, 54, 5, 4. I'm taking to the right. Mm -hmm and three blocks it's gonna be on the left hand side. on the left side yeah. okay my brother i'm yeah. going to do it take my link man so do you have a hi this one with her and this jamaican guy scared scared a hell out of me this is a mobile house guys anything can happen like yanni you can't tell me that coco girl is stronger than this dude what if this dude dragged this coco girl inside this mobile house and take her somewhere what if this dude overthinking guys hey i was panicking watching this one this dude could have done unthinkable to coco girl he could have just dragged her put her inside that mobile house to somewhere this girl is playing with her life i don't know who talks to this girl i don't know who this girl listens to i don't know who can tell this coco girl to be careful those dangerous guys that are into stuff they can easily hamper she has a knife on hand so what these guys they got guns these guys they are stronger than you yeah you want to interact okay you want to interact get a local person i always say this to coco girl she wants to do solo she wants to do everything all by herself she wants to explore okay you are looking for a restaurant at the same time you want to know how dangerous that place are you going there are you on a mission is there something that Coco Girl is doing? We don't know. Why is she always after dangerous places? Wanting to know how dangerous this place is. There was another guy that told her, you, you are safe, don't worry, everything is okay. She asked more than four men how safe that little Hetty is. There was another guy that told her, just feel at home, we have Airbnb, we have hotel, motels, just make yourself comfortable, you will be all right. Nine. She's roaming around throughout, through and through. Even the restaurant owner, she was telling the, the restaurant woman, oh my goodness, guys. I thought I have seen it all, guys. You guys should be Oh my goodness, this one, eh? This this coco girl coco girl when are you going to show us beautiful places in miami <laughs> guys my view miami is one of the beautiful places in yankee like <laughs> you are watching coco girl you would never believe that miami is one of the beautiful places in us okay you would never <laughs> Well, I say that she wants to go to worse places. She wants to go to places that will wow people. But at the same time, be safe. Go with someone. Have like a bodyguard. Have someone that can, if something happens, the person at least will be there to be your witness, to protect you. <sighs> go, go, girl. I'm done. I'm done, guys. You guys should leave me alone. If you watch the this moment, you know who you are. You are the best, of course. You are the bestest. Thank you all for all you do for Coco Mama here. Your likes, your dislikes, your comments, suggestions, criticisms, everything. Rishi, 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 Rishi. I love and appreciate you all from the bottom, bottomest of my heart. Now, can you like this video? Mm -hmm. Shower this video with likes. Drop it water, water. Let's move there to the comment section. Yes, somewhere there. Let's interact more. Tell me what you think about this Orishi Rishi today. Mm -hmm. As you're doing that, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Yes, hit that red button. Sharp, 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 sharp. Join the family. Mm -hmm. As you are subscribing, bring someone. Introduce someone to the channel. Tell a friend, tell a friend about Coco Mama. I'll see you all in my another water, water. Peace out, peace out, peace out. Bye bye. Bye guys. Slow I put it on me. No you like that she my brother. We gon' live forever. Money island, to the mainland, pulling up in the beam.